How's it going everybody? Uh, today I wanted to go over the tripeer and uh, how to set it up and a couple of the uh, tips and tricks that I've learned along the way on how to set it up and how to handle it. Um, I got this used on Astromart and uh, it came with a, a nice little case that uh, has the rolling wheels down at the bottom and uh, that's really helpful. It also has the, uh, the straps if you need to carry it, you know, pick it up, put it in the trunk of your car or something like that. But it is really nice to wheel it around. Uh, it takes a lot of the weight off. So uh, the case has these uh, double zippers, pretty heavy duty zippers. Opens up, has a couple of these little mesh pockets right here. Um, I just keep some extra um, of the uh, azimuth pins and things like that in one bag. And uh, these are the tripod uh, for the, the vibration suppression pads that go underneath the tripod here. I'll show you how those go on. They're pretty easy. The uh, truck here itself uh, fits really nicely in the case. Um, it's, it's very tight. There's not a whole lot of room for extra stuff in there. One thing that I did kind of figure out is if you put the top end of the tripe here uh, toward the end with the wheels, it keeps it balanced just a little bit more. So it has this third, uh, like a foot at one end, so you can stand it vertically. Um, but if you have more weight on this end, it gets just a little bit top heavy. So if you put the head of the tripe here at this end, it will keep most of the weight down at the bottom and it will stand up a little bit easier. Um, so one of the most important things that I kind of learned along the way is, uh, well, first off, get a little, uh, this is just a piece of uh, foam, uh, kind of like a insulation. Uh, this central pin right here stays put. So uh, instead of having to drive that into the concrete or put it on the ground or something like that, I just put it in the case and let it poke a hole in that insulation and then it supports it and I don't mess anything up. So one thing that I, I learned is if you let these legs kind of flop around, it's, uh, it's really hard to manage. So you can just kind of keep a hold of the legs uh, while you're doing it, while you're setting it up, it makes it a whole lot easier. Uh, maybe a, a, an elastic strap or something like that around it uh, would help, but uh, keep them as, uh, as close to the body as you can. And I'll show you another uh, reason why here in just a couple of minutes. So each of the three legs comes out. They just slide in like that. You can lock these down. I choose to just leave them loose. Uh, once they're all the way in there, uh, they're not going to move. Um, the other important thing is this moves just on one plane right here, just back and forth. So you have to kind of put it in there where this lines up with the leg and then it will, it'll go flat once it's on an angle. So the vibration suppression pads, uh, they're nice and easy. They just push right onto here and then they stay. You know, they don't really fall off at all. And you have to actually pull them off. And then like I said, I just keep them in here for travel and close that up. So the other two legs, we'll go ahead and take care of these. Just kind of line that up. Take care of the third one. And now, uh, one tendency is to go ahead and spread the legs out now before you flip it upside down. Um, I found that it's actually still easier to keep these together right up against the body of the pier. And then when you flip it, you have the feet to rest on. I'll just push that out of the way. And it makes pulling the uh, pier itself up and down a whole lot easier. If you pull these legs out and they're off at all, it puts this collar on somewhat of an angle and it kind of pinches the pier. So it makes it really difficult to pull that up and down. So if you keep everything, uh, the, all of the legs really close to the body, to the pier itself, it makes it pretty easy to pull this up and down. Whereas like I say, if you get one of those out, it kind of pinches it and it makes it really hard to slide. Um, you'll notice the uh, let's pull it up. You'll notice these little holes right here, and those correspond with these little uh, pins that's right in here. So as this goes up and down, it'll drop into those little pins, or the pins will drop into those holes. And they'll kind of secure it for you, so it just doesn't fall all the way through. Of course, it's not enough to hold any weight on here. You'll still have to tighten up the collars. And one thing that I've noticed is if you twist the pier like that to where the holes aren't uh, lined up with the pin. You can slide all the way up and all the way down without that pin having to go in and out of each hole up and down the tripe here. Um, it is going to leave somewhat of these little scratches here in the, in the body of the pier, but 
it's up here, it's dark, it's not a big deal. Um, so anyway, you can get that set up, and then just uh, when you're at about the height, you just kind of twist the pier back so the holes line up with those pins again. And let's say that's the, the height that I wanted for the night. Um, what I'll do is I'll just go ahead and, and tighten down some of these just a little bit, and then it keeps this from inadvertently uh, moving. Um, I hate these types of bolts. You can only turn it a half turn, and then you have to go back again. And uh, I wish there was a, a better way for that. Um, they are quite secure though. Once this is tight, the tripe here doesn't move at all. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, pick this up, move the, uh, the bottom out of the way, and then I'll put it up on the floor. Okay, so now that it's on the floor, you'll kind of notice the, uh, the very bottom here sits flat, whereas if those were twisted, they'd be on an angle. Um, and then you just kind of spread the tripod legs out. Like that. And then this has the same pins right here that will drop into those holes. So like right there, they just dropped in. Or you could slide it down a little bit more, and there they just dropped into the next set. Um, where they drop in, I don't think actually matters. Um, this is already level, obviously, because the floor is level. But uh, let's say you're on somewhat of an incline. You could just uh, bring one of these legs closer to the body and then tighten this up. And, uh, and that's how you would adjust. I think they say this is adjustable for about three inches of uneven uh, ground. So uh, I'll just go ahead and put that back kind of where it was there. Uh, these knobs are really nice. They're nice and big, easy to get a hold of. There are three of those, obviously. And then there are also three of these uh, locking nuts down here, or locking bolts down here. But uh, once you go ahead and get them tightened up, I'm not going to tighten it all the way up, but because I just have to take it off again. But uh, this is nice and solid. Um, so that's about all there is to the setup of the uh, tripe here itself. Um, if you kind of notice, I've made a couple of uh, tape marks on the tripe here up here. Um, and uh, what that's for is the bolts, the, uh, the azimuth mounting bolts. Now, as it comes from my Optron, you get, a, you get the pin, the nut, and the washer. And what you would normally do is screw that down in there. And then with the little tool in the mount, uh, you would tighten that down if you wanted to. Put the washer, I'm sorry, I'll put the washer on it. Uh, the mount head goes on, and then the washer, and then this nut screws onto there. Uh, these have to come off each time, just because with these on, it won't fit in the case. So I thought that was a little bit of a pain. So what I'm going to try, and I haven't actually tried this yet, is leave these set up kind of like this. So what I did is I just took two pins and I tightened that up really, really tight. So now what my plan is, is to put the mount head on and then as one unit, just go right through the mount head and just screw it in like that. And then I'll, I'll only have to use the tool on one side in order to tighten the whole thing down. So I'm hoping that works. Um, like I say, this is reversible at the moment. I could just unscrew it. Um, if it does, I might use just a little bit of Loctite up in there just to, uh, just to make it nice and secure to where one doesn't unthread from the other. But uh, otherwise, I think that's a pretty good plan. So I think that's about it with the tripe here. It's, it's pretty easy to handle once you get, the, once you get used to it. Um, make sure you just keep the legs from flopping around and you'll be okay. Um, and, uh, and that's about it. So uh, I'm really happy with it. I think it's a huge improvement over the uh, two-inch tripe here um, that uh, you can get standard with it. Um, but uh, yeah, this is nice and, and solid. I like it.